This is Outnumbered. I'm Harris Faulkner with my co-hosts Emily Campagno and Kaylee McEnany, also joining us today, host of Kennedy Saves the World podcast, Kennedy herself saving us all. Former was to the American people. Kevin McCarthy is was a members leader. He had been to, I think, virtually every district in America. He knows the country, knows the members, knows the issues of their districts. Um, he served as the whip. He served as a leader. And then he served as uh, as the speaker. I, I just I found him as yeah. that he uh, he he uh, gets on the ballot. I, I just want to say quickly about Mike Johnson himself in a position. He's very humble. He has a lot of political capital, as you probably know, with the Republican caucus. I think he could stick for the long term. I was very impressed by him. Oh, shots fired. With, with the, the mind. I think he wants the job long term or held office. Coming up. Quintessential Trump humor there. He went on to talk about possible replacements for Biden. He said, you know, Newsom is slick, but he has no facts. Kamala, politically impossible to move her aside. Yeah, so he's you know, Kelly, is Trump going to be a dictator? It's a great question. If he didn't have four years in the presidency, and we saw he actually gave more power back to people, more power back to states. He didn't try to consolidate that power in Washington. We should secure the border. Who disagrees we should have more American energy? That's a winning, hopeful message that I think carries the day. Yeah, and, you know, Emily, th there you go. You know, the media with their basket of deplorables moment, he baited his opponent Hillary into just such a moment. But the person... Number one, Democrats and the liberal media just can't take a joke. Right. It's like, just, just <laughs> take a joke. For this night, what I felt is how refreshing it was to have someone that was competent, to have someone saying something that wasn't word salad, that wasn't a lie, that wasn't a narrative or just absolute garble and people around them fawning and fanning and telling leadership. And for the apologist media that has somehow excused the people in leadership right now that take away everything from the American people, that tax us more, that have our earnings be less, that blame us for everything, and that literally say nothing. The s a slick, not facts. Absolutely. You know, apologies and narratives, not action. That's been the name of the game for the last few years. I am terrified for the future, and I'm grateful for any optimism that anyone has mm. that the GOP can take it back. Because if it looks like what it looks like now, it's devastating. And Kennedy, with several legal cases, there will be a temptation. You know, Sean's point, uh, he did really try and deregulate. But what I'm so curious Trump is Great not question. running. Will, will he make that pledge? Call him on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. call him on it. Exactly yeah. right. So thank Thinking Joe Biden uh, as an illegal immigrant is one thing, but the American voter is getting angry at the policy. They're, they're annoyed that our borders are open. And so uh, Joe Biden has a $106 billion package. He wants to... ...of our prior conversation about how the president has done anything but listen to the American people, to Sean's point. Poll after poll and, and, and voice after border security, border. et cetera, and yet somehow, you know, foreign capital and the like, like, there's all these things that take precedence over that. And here, rather than highlighting the gratitude, rightly so, that these immigrants should have for the president, why can't we highlight the voices of the American people that are... And he dismantled all of it. And then by the fall of 2021, it's not Republicans calling him out. It's not his predecessor. Great point. Well, you know, one of the reasons, because Emily, who had mentioned that the president doesn't seem to hear our voice. It might change. You know, Christopher Ray from the FBI testified yesterday that the lights are blinking for terror attacks. Right. If there's a terror attack in this country and they came across the southern border, watch out. Mm -hmm. Voters right. are So much more to come, everyone. More outnumbered in just a moment. Oh Where goodness. was that conviction since October 7th? It is laughable that only now do we get a walking back of the vile comments are everything that she and those other no place before the halls of Congress. Well, they're above us all. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, there are only eight of these elite colleges, the Ivy League. Places like Harvard for misgendering someone. You know, right, you can't, you can't, you can't, are we gonna go to Joe Biden right now as he come on stage? What can I answer this? Uh, yeah, I'm off the couch, Sean. Well, so listen, I, it, the, 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 we talked about this early in the hour. You have this exchange for border security. For Why do you think that there might be a reason why Americans don't, don't have trust, as Sean is saying, in the process with regard to Ukrainian funding? Afghanistan. The, uh, Americans start to lose faith, and then they see what happens in Gaza. They see what could happen. To follow up with you, because 75 times we've been hit. Daughters who are in uniform right now. Mm -hmm. Emily, why not a fireside chat at this point? I mean, clearly, <clears throat> Biden, you know, I, I realize it's late in the evening, perhaps, and I don't say that to be unkind, but he's got a full schedule. Incompetence. Incompetence. 
I always, that's worse. I always go to the competition. That's so much worse I if they know. wanted to. You know, you cannot separate this. President Biden's parole authority. He can, as president, say for humanitarian reasons, I'm admitting Afghan right. refugees. We'll end this with your words. Well, listen, I, I think it's, 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 it's fascinating that the, the question's answered, but we've actually seen the tracks. We've seen the canceled tracks that have, he's gotten rich on the American dime. He sold out the presidency, sold out the country to foreign countries so he could get rich um, off of selling our prosperity. The move toward impeachment. No, but I think it's going, to, well, it's going to highlight all of this corruption in the Biden family and make it really hard for Joe Biden to get reelected and gives Joe, D D Donald Trump a lot of power, a lot of ammo. All right. Great to have you watch us, everybody. America reports now.